have guests with us. Tehsin Poonawala from the Congress, Dr. Sambit Pathar from the BJP, Professor Kamal Mitra Chennai from the CPI, T.R. Ramachandran, political analyst, Ashok Pankaj, political analyst as well. We are now going to go through this budget and all the major aspects of it which concern all of us, you and me, the passenger and the consumer. Please. Uh, see how much of hopes have been dashed and how many of hopes have been kept. Uh, let me first go across to uh, Dr. Sambit Patra from the BJP. Well, I'd like all the reactions from all our guests here in just 20 seconds, but uh, first to the opposition BJP, uh, Mr. Sambit Patra, how do you react to it? Just 20 seconds. Very simply, I would say that Pawan Bansal said that the bird perching on a tree believes in its own uh, uh, wings and so does not fall down. I would say he has wrongly quoted it. The bird in this case is sitting on the ground and that's the reason as to why it is not being <laughs> afraid. Facilities, <laughs> yes. uh, Sambit Patra, you seem to disagree with that. What are your thoughts? Piyush, I simply believe that yes, we are ready to pay prices provided we get the services that we are paying for. Uh, but, but the past has been saying against this. We have not been provided with the adequate services. Neither the safety is there. We have seen of the Kumbh mishap very recently. So until unless safety, security and services are provided, increasing concealed prices is not a good idea, I believe. Yeah, 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 but, yeah, but hold on. It's, it's not just about you know, amenities, isn't it? I mean, Dr. Path says the railways, this is the figures as of 1st of April last year. The railways requires 1.5 lakh crore just to finish, just to finish 198 pending projects. That is of last year. So, you know, it's, I mean, how is the railways going to generate revenue to be able to first finish its existing projects before this amenities comes? And having said that, amenities, a lot of them have been announced as well. Nee, Professor Mitra also considered and concur with him. We are ready to pay for the prices provided we are uh, given right kind of services. So what I was saying that right kind of services has not been percolating since long to the passengers. And that's the reason as to why you the Tell disgust me. that Tell we are me. speaking about. Let me just... Uh, Dr. Patra has a point. Just yes, Dr. Dr. Patra wants to come in on this. See, Jujar, I yeah. want to remind the House that in fact, why are we debating on an issue which has already been done? The fares have already been raised by 10 to 25 percentage uh, on January 21st itself. So the raise has already been done. Yeah. Yes, 21 percentage, 10 to 25. That's yeah, but half of that has been wiped up by the diesel hike yes. increase. No, th th then he, he has spoken today that the diesel hike increase may see to it that twice a year we may have fares hiking up. So in a very but silent... that's fair, right? That's fair. No, no, that, that, see, these things have to be controlled because after all, that is what the policy of railway should be as to how the, the free charges should be managed in a way where you subsidize the passenger fares. See, 90% have to increase Patra. the prices out there. There is Dr. nothing Dr. Samhit Patra, your reaction on that, we could have, the railway minister could have increased the, uh, the, the passenger charges more than freight. Why not that? The problem is Piyushi over here. I mean, the minister's attempt has fallen short of both pragmatism as well as populism. So he, he is standing in the middle way trying to appease everyone which he is unable to do. Now like coming to the technical issue of the what whole thing. What would have been more rational, Dr. Samit? Papa, yes, that's why I am coming to the technical issue. Yeah. See, the, the, the railway functions on two principles. Mm -hmm. The first principle is increasing the freight fare and subsidizing the passengers' fire, uh, fares. This is the first principle. And the second principle which I believe the railway has to adhere to now, what is required is, the second principle is that, that the price does not fluctuate depending on the size of the rail. That means if a 14 coach or a, 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 a 14 wagon train is increased to a 28 wagon coaches or uh, this thing, the operational cost does not increase. I mean to suggest that the government has to keep this in mind and optimally utilize whatever is available. That is, in railway terms, this is called as faster, heavier, uh, Way. I mean, the train has to be loaded in a heavier manner, it has to be faster, you, you and it has to be longer, longer, point, faster, Patra. heavier. Dr. Patra, very important point there. Government has to optimally utilize what's available and uh, make full use of the resources 